I never thought that I would have to start over in my 30s. I figured by now I would be married to love my life in a career that fulfilled my purpose and I don't feel like I have any of that. A week before my birthday, I got laid off. My company closed down and this was a job that I really enjoyed. It was a perfect fit for me. It was something that I always wanted to do and I saw myself doing this job for a few years. Eventually the goal was to become an entrepreneur of some sort, but I wanted this job and I needed this job and I liked this job because it was the right fit to even help me get to entrepreneurship. I also lost the person that I thought I was going to be with forever. He didn't die, but our relationship did. This was the love of my life. The person that I thought I would never be without. And I don't have him anymore. And so losing two very important pieces to my life has been devastating. It's been a few months and I thought, you know, I processed these feelings and emotions and most days are good. Most days I feel happy and I feel like I'm making progress, but then there's the days where I don't feel that way. I feel lost. I feel alone. I feel without direction. I don't know what I'm doing with my life or myself. And having to start over at this age, I know older people are going to tell me, you're still young. 34 is still young. And it is. I just don't have the life that I envisioned for myself that I worked so hard towards. And it also feels like I did all of that for nothing. But what I've learned throughout this time of loss and redirection is that you can only control what you can control. All of these things that have happened, I feel like have been out of my control. And for someone who likes control, this has been extremely hard for me. And I think that's what I need to learn right now in my life, is to let go of control and be patient. And while my heart is really, really hurting, it really hurts right now. I'm still trying to do all the things. Some days it feels like I'm taking steps in the right direction and making progress. And other days it feels like I'm just going through the motions so that I don't spend the day rotting in my bed. I'm choosing to get up every day and work on my craft, which now I'm pushing myself into being a full-time content creator. It's always been a goal of mine. And while I've always wanted to do this, this is not the timeline that I wanted to do it on. And so that in itself has been a struggle. I'm also trying to build relationships in other areas of my life with my friends, with my family, so that I don't spend so much time alone. I don't know what all of this means for me. And I debated about posting this because I feel extremely open and vulnerable right now. I feel exposed. I feel like people have an expectation of me that I cannot live up to sometimes. And I know that there's so many of you out there that can relate to what I'm feeling. 
And my only thought is that if I post this and someone else sees it, even if it's just one person, because I don't have that many subscribers right now, but even if it's just one person that sees this and feels some sort of comfort knowing that they're not alone, that there's somebody else going through these same things with them, then it'll be worth it. I'm somebody who's extremely private and I don't open up to hardly anyone. And I am learning that maybe I should. You know, you can open up to people and, and express how you feel without giving every detail of your life and, and telling all your business. So that's my goal. That's all I can commit to right now is to being open and sharing how I feel. I'm gonna continue to try to find myself. And maybe that this is the life that I'm supposed to live and the lessons that I'm supposed to learn are really being shown right now. All I can do is accept what is and move forward. And I always think to myself, like, how am I supposed to move forward? What am I supposed to do to move forward? I still don't really know. I'm just going to take it day by day. And that's all I can do right now is take care of myself the best that I can, not rot away in my bed. My best friend and I had a conversation the other day and we talked about how everything is gonna work out. These lessons that we're learning right now are meant to propel us into the next version of ourselves. I know for a fact, I don't want to be the version of myself that I was this year. I said I was going to manifest a new life. And when I said that, I did not mean that I wanted to lose my job and the love of my life. But if my new life has more in store for me and better for me, then I have to accept that Maybe some things can't go to the next version of me. I think I might post more about this on here, here on YouTube. I don't know yet, but this has just been kind of nice to have a video diary of how I'm feeling. And if I post this, I post it. It might just stay private, but I want you to know if you are watching this, it's not just you, it's me, and it's, and it's other people. We're all here trying to figure this out together.